It's a great day to be a hoarder in Pokemon Go because we finally have a reason to keep extra extra small and extra extra large Pokemon. Double XS and Double XL Pokemon were introduced a few months ago to Pokemon Go, but there was really no reason to keep them, so I've been transferring them all because they haven't meant anything to me. But for those of you who are collectors, who are hoarders, who have been saving them, well, you're about to be rewarded for it. A couple days ago, Niantic Support tweeted, Trainers in New Zealand, you'll be able to experience a new feature at select Pokestops for a limited time. Enter your Pokemon and see how they rank compared to other trainers' Pokemon. The new feature appears to be called Showcases, Pokemon Showcases, and it was kind of teased in the trailer for the new season. Now, it seems like that beta test in New Zealand only lasted for one day because uh, they've all kind of disappeared, but we have a good idea of how the feature is going to work. So first of all, at Pokestops, you're going to start seeing this little icon floating above it. That's the showcase icon. It lets you know that there's a showcase active at that Pokestop. Once you're in range of the Pokestop, you can tap on the Pokestop and then click on Showcase down at the bottom. For the testing in New Zealand, all of the showcases were for Fomantis only, but it's pretty safe to assume that any Pokemon species could be chosen for a showcase once the feature is live globally. So basically, it'll show you which Pokemon the showcase is for and what the category is. Biggest size, smallest size, maybe they'll add other things in the future. Um, if there was an oldest Pokemon, I might be able to compete in that. But for now, the showcases all seem size related, which they told me didn't matter, but whatever. So in this video from Gaming Kiwi NZ on Twitter, you can see uh, you'll choose your Pokemon, which Pokemon you want to enter. You can click enter and then you'll go to the screen where it sort of rates your Pokemon. Two stars, two stars, but it's rank one because there's no one else in the showcase. You'll get a score for your Pokemon, in this case 566 points, and then you're basically competing against anyone else who submits a Pokemon to the showcase before it ends. The size category here is biggest size, so at the end of the showcase, whoever has the biggest one wins. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not mad, I just, I, I've been lied to. Once the showcase is over, if you are in the top three, you'll get a notification, you'll get rewards for that, and this is where it gets really interesting. I don't know if these rewards are going to carry over into the global launch, but for now, during this New Zealand beta test, the rewards are actually, like, really, really great. So here's a video from my friend Claire in New Zealand who got first place on a Fomantis showcase and got 1,500 Stardust, three Ultra Balls, and two Lucky Eggs premium items that you normally have to spend Pokecoins. You have to pay money to get these items. Other players in New Zealand on Twitter, on Reddit, have gotten uh, type lures like Magnetic, Rainy Lure, uh, two incubators, golden raspberries, 2,700 Stardust. So it seems like the rewards are really good. But again, I have a feeling they might get nerfed a little bit when the feature goes live globally. Now, depending on how commonly these showcases show up at Pokestops, this could be a really beneficial feature for rural players who don't have anyone else playing in their area. If you are the only person entering showcases in your city, in your town, um, you're gonna win all of them, and that means lots of good items. But at the same time, if they're not very common and you don't have a lot of Pokestops in your area, then they might be pretty hard to find but we'll find out whenever this goes live. We don't have any information about when that's gonna be yet, but the fact that they have already beta tested it hopefully means it's coming soon. So save your extra, extra small Pokemon, save your extra, extra large Pokemon, because they could be worth a lot of premium items very soon here in Pokemon Go. Thanks for watching. Check out this video if you missed the latest news, and I'll see you in the next one.